Hey everyone, today we're going to take a look at this rhythmic tool, musical tool called Groove Pizza. You're going to get a chance to look through the different components of this tool and I'm going to show you how to share it and use it with other projects. So let's get started. Here we have, uh, okay, here we have different tools at the bottom. This is your play area. The, this, uh, these circles here, think of these as measures. So measure one, measure two, measure three, measure four. And within these uh, circles or measures, you're gonna get a chance to make different types of sounds. Now we like to use um, two and four as an easy uh, go-to to set up your pattern. But if you would like to switch it up and use one to three, that's fine as well. Now, it's a couple other things I want to point out before we get started. Um, around the outer edge of this circle here, this is called the, um, the kick drum. In the back, this is like the lowest type of drum here. In the middle, we have our snare drum. So these circles that you see the mouse going around, the, those are for the snare drum. And the circles that are closest to the little smaller circle in, the, in really here, that's a little smaller, uh, this is called the hi-hat. So you have your low, middle, high sounds. Now, with this particular um, uh, program, you have music that's uh, based like shapes, as geometrical shapes. So um, when you want to, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this. When you want to take a look at um, this section over here. If you want to uh, move these bars around, you have your volume button here. You just slide it up or down. You have your beats per minute. Um, that's the BPMs and you can slide this too. You have your swing. This gives you like a syncopated rhythm pattern. And then you have your slices which is our 16 beats. Now, when I mean uh, slices, they're referring to it as how music it, or your musical patterns are, are organized. Now, what I would like for you to do is to start exploring the play. And then once you explore the play button, I want you to go ahead and um, uncheck this one and this one, or you can deselect it and then uncheck this one and then check that one. All right, so you're gonna go ahead and explore that. The other things that I want you to do is I want you to go to where it says shapes and I want you to select what the triangle might sound like. So you pick up the triangle and you select it. If you want the square sound, pick that up, select it, now the pentagon and so forth. So I want you to experiment with the shapes, experiment here with the measures, um, this is your play button, as I said before. Kind of leave these alone for right now because I want you to be able to uh, get a steady pattern. You're more than welcome to uh, select and deselect these um, dots here and the same thing here and here. But be intentional. Don't just uh, you know be a happy clicker and click everything. I want you to be intentional because you're actually going to use these um, settings for to create your music. All right, so let's get started with this first. Um, so this is what it sounds like. All right, then you stop here. And when you use your shapes, let's see what the triangle sounds like and maybe select 15 and let's select seven here. Let's hear what that sounds like. And we'll stop it right there. So if you notice, uh, beats here two and beats four were kind of similar, but then uh, one and three were similar. All right, so go ahead and work on this section and then we'll come back for the second part of, of this selection.